All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, no. Oh, it's done. <laughs> hey, friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm David. And we have a really fun challenge here. If you haven't followed along, we built a monster P51 Mustang and a monster ME262 Messerschmitt to put in the aerial battle. And we are coming up to our grand finale where one of these is going to be getting blown out of the air in a way we've never done before. Now, my friend David here, he has been around with Flight Test for a very long time, but you're kind of new to FPV and, and combat kind of, aren't you? Done it a couple of times, nothing major. I think we're going to start off with these and try to, um, you know, Go a little small, it's a lot easier to fix this than it is one of these guys. And uh, we'll see what happens. One thing we can't do is we can't send these up to train David on because frankly, they're both a little bit sketchy. They've been worked over pretty good. We also want to save this for when we blow one of them up. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the ME262 that you guys will be able to build. This kit's going to be coming out in less than two weeks. Uh, and we're going to be putting FPV in it. And we also got to convert it over from a BDF to the tractor configuration like you see here. We also got to basically bring this back because this is one of the early prototypes, so there's a lot of pieces mixing. It's kind of busted up. We got to get it fixed. And then at the end of the day, Dave, hopefully we'll be doing a streamer combat practicing for the real combat. Awesome. I can't wait. Ready to get building? Yes. All right. So uh, what are we doing here? Um, we just removed the BDFs from the back of this and we're putting some tractor CPAC motors on the front. Give her a little bit better flight characteristics for what we're trying to do. A little bit more juice? Yeah, a little bit more juice. So what's the plan after this? Um, I think we're going to try to get these nacelles all put back together and try to figure out CG. And hopefully we go flying later today. Awesome. Alright, we are all set. One thing before you ever fly FPV that you want to do is you want to get some time flying line of sight. And this is mostly for me and also Dave. You want to feel how the plane feels, you want to learn the glide, you want to learn the stall speed, all those things before you put FPV on it. That way when you're into the goggles, you definitely know how the plane's going to behave. So we're going to take this out, we're going to go ahead and fly it. I got to remade in this, you got to go ahead and fly this for the first time. Yeah. See how it behaves? Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> Let's put them in here. <laughs> All right, so Dave did a great job, man. The motors look great. Thank you. So I kind of like it with the tractor conversion. Now, granted, you may think that you're going to see the props, but once they're spinning, you don't, you see don't notice it at all. Not at all. So we do have some cameras on. It's going to be a little tail heavy. You're going to put it up for the maiden, right? Yes, we'll give it a shot. It's kind of windy. We'll see how it goes. I love it. I'll launch you. Flying done. And then if this works out good, I'm going to grab my Mustang real quick. I'm going to join them in the sky. This is great, Josh. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Ready. Pretty good. Tail heavy, nose heavy? Um, it's not too bad. The wind's kind of pushing it around. So this is one of our early prototypes. And again, this kit is gonna be made available in less than two weeks. The first week of June is when this is coming out. And it may seem small compared to our Monster series, but it is a big, beautiful airplane. And it flies just like the real thing, just super smooth in the air. There we go. You feel good? Yeah, a couple clicks of trim, she's good to go. <laughs> it's awesome. flying great. All right, I'm gonna get up in the air with you. Alrighty. Did, no. did we check that? So Dave one, Josh zero. Um, common thing oftentimes before we take off, I go up, down, left, right. I didn't say up, down, left, right. And if I would have done that, I would have realized I still had to program my ailerons to be the right direction. I rolled it right into the ground. Oh, <laughs> so sorry, Josh. No, I should have checked it too. No, no, I'm, I'm just gonna admire you flying here. We have another uh, Mustang, or this one can be repaired by tomorrow when we fly FPV combat. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna just enjoy watching this, and it looks fantastic. How's it roll? Um, let me get up a couple mistakes high here. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty doppy, she's, right? She's pretty slow on the rolls. So I got a little bit of advantage. David's gonna be flying the 262. I'm gonna be flying the Mustang. I'm gonna be a lot more maneuverable, but a lot less uh, speed. 
you're gonna have a lot less maneuverability, but way more speed. All right, I should probably bring her in. Oh, that looks amazing. Ooh. Uh, oh. Let's check out the right. damage. <laughs> Tough. Yeah, so he flipped around on an axis and I forgot to talk to him about this. Because the motors are so far down, they're not going over the elevator. So the second you slow up and then you hammer on the elevator, this is what happens. <laughs> and the same thing happens with planes like the Porco Rosso plane, any kind of pedestal style airplane with the motor way up or way low, you can get that pendulum effect if you don't have the air going over the elevator. So when you're kind of climbing slowly and then you hit the throttle and it just did the little... Yeah, yeah it was... I get it. <laughs> so I mean but it was always intended to fly fast it was never designed to make a stall turn so I guess they're okay our next step is pretty simple I gotta fix my Mustang uh, we're gonna add FPV into Dave's plane we're gonna get him flying some more at the end of the day we want him to be so comfortable with the way this plane flies so when we put him under the goggles we can have a real epic combat and we're gonna even simulate that with our next step which is streamer combat all right, so while the guys are working on this crazy project, I want to tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is NordVPN. So if you don't know much about NordVPN or you don't know much about a VPN in general, a VPN is a virtual private network. Essentially, a VPN helps secure you and your data while you're logging into the internet and surfing the interweb. The cool thing about NordVPN is that it's super simple and easy to use. You literally can connect with one click to NordVPN, or if you want to enable auto-connect, you literally have zero clicks to get your VPN working. On top of that, NordVPN has over 5,300 servers in 59 different countries. It means that you can find a server near you no matter where you're at for faster speeds and better connections. We touched on it a second ago, but speed. Speed is a huge thing in VPNs. And it's been confirmed by speed tests that NordVPN is the fastest VPN out there. You have up to six simultaneous connections at one time. So whether you're using your tablet, your phone, your desktop, whatever, you're gonna be connected and protected with NordVPN. You can also find streaming platforms at a lower price, and if a platform isn't available in your country, no problem, just simply change your virtual location. On top of that, there's no more bandwidth throttling, right? So NordVPN encrypts all of your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your streaming speed, which I know is a huge deal to a lot of people. Now here's the best part about all of this. This is where you guys come in. If you go down to the link in the description below, go to nordvpn.com slash flight test and use the coupon code flight test to get a massive discount on a two year plan plus an additional month for free. And also a huge thanks to NordVPN for making this content possible. Also a huge thanks to you guys for watching because without you, we wouldn't even be here. So thank you. And now let's get back to the guys and see what they're doing with this crazy project, eh? So we are on to our next step and that's FPV, isn't it? Yes, FPV. Um, I have not had much experience in it, so it's gonna be a learning curve for me. Um, all I can tell everybody is to make sure that they don't get intimidated and keep trying new things because it usually works out and you have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, absolutely. And with FPV, you can take on many different things. This is my RC car here. I bought this from a dear friend from the community named Keith. Thank you, Keith, I love it. But I put the DJI unit on that as well. I go explore all over Edgewater and have a blast with it. We're gonna go ahead and rob the FPV unit from the Scout here from our last video with the laser tag. We're gonna rob it from my car and then we're gonna put on the 262 and then we're gonna get ready for an epic streamer battle. Now one thing we're gonna be doing a little bit different, typically with streamer cuts, the goal is to try to knock off the other person's streamer. This is really gonna be an indication of the spacing we need. We need to be inside this distance, which is roughly 80 feet. And what we learned on the last episode that we did with the laser tag between the scout and the ground station is between 75 and 50 feet is your sweet spot. So when we go ahead and fly here, we're gonna to wanna to be able to get as close to that streamer as possible to get that direct line of sight for shooting each other. Uh, that's gonna be critical because we're not gonna have the range during daylight that we normally would have during the nighttime. And to get these hits, we're gonna to need to be close so our goal is not necessarily to cut the streamer, although I guarantee that's gonna happen. Our goal is mainly gonna be to line up on each other for those hits. With this practice run, we're gonna be switching places back and forth, getting lines of sight on each other, and just use the whole battery to kind of discover how the plane behaves so when we go to the big ones, we're prepared. You ready? We're gonna do this. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Again, the goal here is not necessarily to cut each other's streamers, it's to line up on each other. We're gonna fly the pattern we'll be flying during our battle to kind of give us the most opportunities to tangle it up and hopefully shoot one of ourselves down. Um, I'm gonna launch you. You ready? Yes, we're okay. ready to go. 
Okay. And also, you notice that there's a quad flying around here. That's our buddy TJ, part of the Flight Test family, and also Buddy RC. Make sure you go over to his channel, give him some love, because we would not have these shots without him. Note to self, don't chop. You ready? Paper. Yes, sir. <laughs> No speed, she loves pitching up, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, does that look so cool? <laughs> That's perfect. How do you feel? I'm good. Awesome. All right, let's get number two in the air here. Here we go. I love pulling streamers. All right, Mr. Dave. Where are you at, Josh? I am going to pass right over us. We'll get ourselves in the pattern. You see me, bud? Right above. Oh, you're way down below me. Okay, come on down. Matter of fact, why don't you line down? On, why don't you line up on me, and then I'll go ahead and fly the pattern. Let me try to get up to you here. All right, I see you. You got me? Yeah, I'm, I'm still so, quite a ways off, but I'm coming. All right, take your time. We don't want you to hit me like uh, our, my ginger did. <laughs> Remember that time. All right, all right I am behind you. Awesome, all right. I First got you. Dive. It's kind of fun to always fly a pattern. That way you Ooh. kind of know what the person's doing. You can have more fun flying against each other. How's my speed against you? Um, You're a little slow. Okay, I'll speed up. Well, I guess that's how the scale one's supposed to be anyway, right? Dipping down. I'm behind you. How's that? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, you pick up a lot more speed on the down. Yeah, I'm hill. cleaner than you are. <laughs> All right, why don't you cut in front of me Ooh. here and I'll chase you. All right, I'm speeding up. I'm coming down towards the runway. All right, just now. buzz the runway, I'll find you. Yeah, I'm, I'm right, almost to the runway. Down. There uh -oh. you are. Um, I just lost power. You just lost power. Pa, 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 we got our practice right in. Yeah, I don't think we destroyed any planes either. Uh, they, they look pretty good. good. Yeah, I think we're good to go here for another round. But you know what? We learned what we needed to learn. We got to tangle it up a little bit. We got to fly with streamers, yeah, yeah. FPV experience. We're ready to go for the big time. That was great. You liked it? Yes, thank you. Awesome, no problem. Okay, guys, so make sure you subscribe because our next video, we're going to be doing this with our Monster P51 and our Monster 262. And we're going to be doing laser tag, but not just laser tag how you think. We're going to have a mortar round in each wing. So the one that gets the most hits is going to blow up the other airplane. We've been really excited about this. I've been trying to get you for years. <laughs> Hopefully this time I get you. <laughs> yes. Every time so, we've went up against combats, it just went bad for me. All my held in aggression comes out <laughs> during combat, so just be warned. All right, friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Dave, I cannot wait to fight yeah, against you, buddy. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Let's right, have fun. See you next time.